Nissan Navara D23 or NP300. This one, the customer has complained about a loss of power and a loud clicking noise. So uh, we've brought up our live data around our fuel here. It had a fault code in it um, earlier on for the rail pressure sensor circuit. Okay, so that's sort of uh, what we're looking to be faulting now, but we are just going to see if we can get it to fault and see what happens with this live data. Okay, so I couldn't fault it driving, but now having got into the rail pressure sensor and moved the wiring, um, we are up to 4.99 volts here. Our pressure has gone up with our target pressure still down and we have a crank no start broken it now so we'll just a bit suspect to this up in here but we'll just give this wiring another move around Actually, we'll grab our scan tool and then we can. Oh, there you go. Rail pressure voltage, sensor voltage has dropped back down. Okay, so what we want to do is watch this while we move the wiring. Here it goes. Here's our original code, code rail pressure sensor circuit. P0190. Oh, oh and then these will be just related codes. We can he see here now we've got this code twice um, since we've been mucking around with those wires and getting it to fault. Um, so just to show that this is the cause of that code. What we're going to do now just to try and narrow down the wires again with them stripped is we'll do it again watching this and moving the wires individually. Um, just a note if you're using the Autel scan tool when you go to the engine information and go to live data you need to select all signals. If you try and just go to engine management you won't get any of this fuel information that you need. Um, so that's just a bit of a side note. Is that white one? Just um, try and get this default again with the wires separated so I can work out exactly which wire it is. But um, I now can't get it default again. So, what we're going to do is we are going to send it up to the auto electrician, get them to pin out these wires from the plug, and replace um, those wires probably all the way back up to here just to make sure we're covering that whole lot but I think our breaker is down fairly near to the plug and we want the plug pinned out that's why it's going to the auto electrician um, just in case it, the brake is actually right in where the pins are so that is the next step um, but yeah if you have have that bolt coat um, for the fuel pressure sensor circuit make sure you check the wiring first because that from this end retails at $1,300. Uh, so this has been up to the auto electrician now. Um, they've done something with the pins in the plug. They couldn't get a new plug for it. Um, it doesn't look like they've replaced the wiring like we asked them to. Um, I asked them to replace wiring up to here um, just because that covers all your ground. I also wanted them to pin out the plug, check the pins and everything. Um, but 
it's not faulting at the moment but it wasn't faulting when I gave it to them either uh, it was only faulting when we were checking it and it was when we were moving those wires but of course when you move those wires it will also move the pins within the plug a bit um, but yeah I would have preferred to replace from the pins wiring up to here just to cover all of that section and know that we're right um, but this is what we've got at this stage so the customer's going to take it away and uh, make sure it stays good okay and it has stayed good so it's been weeks now since we did this and um, it hasn't been back there's been no complaints about it uh, so could be that loose pins in that plug are a common issue so make sure you check that out before you go replacing a sensor that doesn't need replacing um, just by moving that wiring while you're checking your live data okay so uh, that is for the P0190 code on a Nissan Navara D23 or NP300 I uh, hope this helps you out today don't forget to click a like and subscribe for more real tips from real mechanics